those of you who are working in clinical trials reporting you usually do such kind of reports in SAS now in this video you are going to see how to create this report step by step using R code so here as you see this is what we want and this is our data set now in our data set notice one thing that we are having gender in the column sex TRTCD the IDs of the treatments and the treatment name we will be requiring two packages tidyverse that is group of different packages of tidy and also R2 RTF let's first of all call them here so as I have called them over here now we are going to load the data which is this data now as you see the data has been loaded with the function read.csv we first of all plan to calculate the frequencies of patients uh, receiving different treatments so how many patients receive placebo treatment how many patients receive 5 mg treatment 10 mg treatment etc let's do that by some options we are going to see the option of summarize group by well this same thing can be done with table function but easier it will be to do it with group by summarize let's do that hence as you see that we have the totals generated actually we have the counts generated so 11 10 8 8 are these counts which we intend to have it here these same counts are going to be used while, while we calculate percentages for every count value hence we first of all require to save these in different variables let's do that so that we can utilize them afterwards as you see that i have created four objects for storing these four values which can be utilized afterwards for calculating our percentages the next step will be to calculate the frequencies afterwards we will think about these percentages well frequencies can be easily calculated with group by summarize once again let's do that so here the group by will be by sex and TRTCD as you see this has been already typed and let's examine what we have actually got with our code we have got a long data with our code in which we have treatment wise gender wise counts now as far as our layout consideration is concerned we require to have treatments in columns we require to do this with one function from tidy r package called pivot wider let's do that with pivot wider as you see that in pivot wider function i have specified id calls as sex so actually what is going to happen with this id calls and names from and values from let me let me in short explain you basically this is the long data and we want to make it wide when we want to make it wide we want the column sex to stay as it is and we want trtcd to be spreaded over four columns hence we write names from trtcd values from n well values from n will be fixed here it is the output if we would have wanted exactly opposite means sex in columns and treatment in rows then why not we can give it very easily trtcd and specify sex here and now let's test it by running the code once again and you will find that gender now is in columns and treatment is in rows 
but as far as our requirement is concerned we want treatment in columns so let's proceed with that and hence as a result we have these things now the next step will be calculation of percentages and after we calculate the percentages then then putting these values in brackets this will require string concatenation first of all let us calculate percentages now as you see that the percentages have been calculated at the same time not to be forgotten that we also want total and hence the total has been calculated row wise and also the percentages have been calculated while I have calculated the percentages I have made use of these CNT objects which I had created earlier so let's run this and see the output related to that and here is the output now the next step can be we actually concatenating the numbers with the percentages to make it viable in the report as you will see now that the calculated percentages the pct1 pct2 variables now corresponding to every variable a character variable has been created actually this is necessary because we want to do concatenation the string concatenation will take place from strings to string very easily in R hence format C function has been used accordingly about format C function let me tell you that we intend to have the percentages displayed in the one digit that is one decimal digit that's why digits is equal to one has been put up over here and that too the digits are the decimal points and not the significant digits and hence format is equal to F option is required over here let's run this and see our output and this is our output so over here you see that we have created the corresponding character columns now after creating the character columns we are going to concatenate as required as you see the code has been added of concatenation and I am concatenating the original count value with the percentage value and that too with the percentage symbol here let us see the output of this and as you see that we, we have these values created also notice one more thing here that I have created one more variable called stats which may be required for display in this particular report hence this has been itself created over here in mutate function and you see we require limited things to be shown as far as our RTF is concerned and these are the limited things we don't want all the things that is individual counts etc we don't want we want only the things to be displayed here and hence this has been done with the select function hence now it seems that our table is ready but we have one more thing to fulfill the line of this blank line of this text word sex let's do that what I have done is I have created that first row as a blank one well and after doing that I am going to concatenate it well this is the R bind code for that but before R binding notice one thing what I have done purposefully I have left one space blank over here because that is the requirement of our report that's why and now with C bind our data frame which is to be passed to the report is now ready now let's do the RTF generation with this I have written over here a very basic RTF code in which the table 
has been passed to the RTF page, RTF body, RTF encode, which are the necessary functions over here, and then the RTF has been generated. Let's see what RTF actually has been generated basically. So here is the RTF which has been generated. This is the one. But we want many other things to be done with this. For example, we don't want the vertical lines. We want two rows in, in our column header and many other things, the title, etc. We need to specify them one by one. Let's do that. So as you see that we want the orientation as landscape and hence orientation equal to landscape has been given border first and borders last that means we don't want the borders to be double border first and border last are to be set to single borders and hence we have set them to single borders also the titles need to be specified let's specify them now as you see accordingly the titles have been specified notice one thing that the first title has been specified as title in the RTF title subtitle and then in the subtitle we are going to specify as many titles as we want in the vector the justification of the title has to be centralized and hence text justification equal to c and you can set the font of your choice font size of your choice here i have set it as 8 now the next step will be the next step will be for coding for this particular thing which is column header let's do that now as you see we have got two lines in the columns one line is we specify the headings that is the contents which the column will be possessing and the additional thing that is the additional information related to the column will be in the next line so hence we require two calls for rtf column header so rtf call header we first of all specify characteristic statistics so notice one thing here that i am specifying as a column partitioning i am specifying vertical bar which will actually consider the column separated as you count the columns we are having some seven columns with this and hence one two three four five six seven relative widths have been given so this widths which have been given are not in inches nor are in pixels they are relative now as i want over here that the leftmost i want it uh, with with most uh, uh, biggest width then uh, the second uh, biggest width i want as the uh, second one and i want all others that is placebo these all these columns i want with the same width and hence accordingly the widths have been specified numbers you specify will be of your choice but be particular about the proportions over here these proportions are to be maintained throughout uh, down over here whenever you will be specifying about the widths next text justification the text justification well we want the first column to be left aligned second column left aligned and all other columns central aligned and hence in my c that is in my vector function i'm going to specify accordingly the justifications of different columns in that order well one more important thing this column header is not going to have border of its own and hence top border will be will be not a single one nor a double one it will be a blank one now there are seven columns and hence this repetition seven basically is going to generate the blanks this we are doing for making it borderless okay and also notice one thing border left border right we also don't want borders we also don't want borders to the left and to the right okay so hence we require to specify this also now as you see that i have written the code for for the second line in the column header 
and in my code I have not done hard coding so I have called all those objects which I had created for account as it is also notice over here one more thing that the column relative widths which have been specified are also to be maintained similarly also just justification has to be maintained similarly and all other things let's proceed now with the RTF body that is the main part of our report you see with the RTF body nothing will be so special only one thing will be special will be that we don't want you see we don't want the column headers of this data pass so what are column headers CNT all if you see these are the column headers we don't want them to be there with our report we have already specified our own column headers and hence in the RTF body you are going to write as column header equal to false maintaining in the second line I have maintained the same relative widths and also this time well mind it well this time border first border first is going to be the single one means this to this border I'm specifying so it is this this same line which we are specifying for border first single border if we specify double then we will be getting it double border last this one okay then border left border right we don't want any border left border right that's why the spaces are to be specified nor single nor double and the justification has been maintained the font size has been specified well last row we don't want uh, to be left uh, otherwise what will happen is it will add one last row which we don't want so hence last row equal to false has been given next to be specified should be the mandatory footnotes which we many times require well the footnotes which we require the footnote uh, vector I have specified so the first uh, value will be in the first row first line I can say second will be in the second line third will be in the third line or here in the third line what I intend to do is that I want to specify the uh, path of that file which generated path of that code which generated the uh, report and hence the foot stream the foot stream which you see over here uh, we will we will see this how I have coded over here for that for foot string well first of all I have captured the file path of my RStudio file and also this is going to be the file path well file path uh, just a minute and the date time well ultimately the foot stream is going to involve the path as well as the date time in the code so we will be adding this here also notice some few more border left and border right which I have specified here which are required so fine now our our code is done you require to save this file so having saved this file now I am going to run this before running let's ensure that none of the RTF documents are here in our folder so that we will have a fresh copy of the report generated as you will notice that as the code has got executed we don't have any errors these are basically not errors. these are imports and let's check this out with our file and, and that's our report thanks for watching this video the link of the code will be given in the description box of this video please feel free to try this on your own if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and also if you haven't still subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you